Enterprise phones are configured to only work with a Cisco Unified Communications Manager, CUCM. Sometimes the needs of a business change. So Cisco has come up with a process to migrate certain models of 7800 and 8800 series phones so they can use WebEx calling or other third-party call controllers, 3PCC. After migration, the phone will run multi-platform firmware, MPP. If you would like your phone to use WebEx calling, a link to a video on that process is in the description. There are a few different ways to perform the conversion process, but the simplest way is to use the Cloud Upgrader site at upgrade.cisco.com. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to migrate an enterprise phone to use multi-platform firmware, MPP, using a classic license and the Cisco Cloud Upgrader. Next. The first thing you need to do is make sure your phones are available to migrate. To check the most recent list, navigate to the Cisco Phone Conversion Guide. The link is in the description. Scroll down and check the model of your phone and the version to make sure it's possible. Once you have confirmation, you need to order and obtain a classic migration license from a Cisco partner, one for each phone. They're sold in bundles if you have more than a few phones. The license options are shown under the Enterprise to MPP Conversion Other Call Controls section. You'll notice there is one license for the 7800 phones and another for the 8800 models. Both of them have E2M in them. This signifies that the license is for the conversion from Enterprise to MPP. After you order the license, you will get an email with instructions to associate the license with the MAC address of the phone. Each license must be bound to the MAC address of a specific phone. When that's complete, you will get an email with a file that contains the license file. It ends in .lic. Be sure to save the file. Navigate to upgrade.cisco.com and click Enterprise to MPP for Broadworks and other third-party call controllers. The first step here is to upload the migration license. Click Choose File, select the license file, and click Upload. When you see the success notification, the license has been uploaded to the Cloud Upgrader app. There are a few options for migration. I will be doing a manual migration of just one phone. If you're going to be converting a lot of phones, it's more efficient to do a bulk migration. However, it's recommended that you start with just one or two phones for proof of concept first. For the conversion to be successful, you may need to adjust some firewall settings. This is done to make sure your network will allow the IP addresses and domains used by the cloud upgrader for the migration. So, if your firewall supports URL filtering, be sure to allow the following URLs. cloudupgrader.webex.com ports 6970-443, activate.cisco.com ports 443, activation.webex.com ports 443. You should also make sure that your network has DNS resolution and internet connectivity from a voice VLAN. The next requirement is to make sure to have the enterprise firmware on the phone updated to a minimum of the version shown on the Cloud Upgrader site. The version varies between models. To check which phone model and firmware you have, press the Settings button on the phone. Select Product Information. Upgrade if you do not have the minimum version shown for your model. Now that all the preparations are set, it's time to perform the migration. Head over to your phone. Press the Settings button. Select Admin Settings, and then either Network and or Ethernet Setup, depending on the model of the phone. Click IPv4 Setup. Scroll down and set the alternate TFTP to On or Yes and click the TFTP Server 1 box. Depending on the model, four boxes may be shown. Enter the IP address from the Cloud Upgrader site. At the time of filming, that is 3.14.211.49. If you enter them into boxes, you do not need to add the dots. Click Apply. 
Select Erase if prompted that a trust list is installed on the phone. Wait for the phone to download the firmware. It will restart several times and may take up to 15 minutes before it boots up with the MPP firmware. As soon as the migration process is completed, the phone will prompt for an activation code. This means it's ready to connect to a third-party call controller. To verify this, click the Settings button, then Status and Product Information. The product name will have 3PCC in it. There you have it. This phone is set. If this was your proof of concept, you're on your way. If you'll be doing a bulk migration next, it's recommended that you start with small groups of phones and work your way up to larger groups just in case issues come up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.